hello everybody and welcome to this channel once more again let's go together and say no to cyber psychological torture it's evil it's cruel it's crime against humanity and it should be condemned with the contempt it deserves all those people who perpetrate this this crime should be taken to book and sentenced to jail and get a life in imprisonment and thank you very much you know for tuning in to the channel once more again i uh, just want to greet everybody and you know wish everybody a happy day um yeah, and please if you are watching this video don't forget to you know to like the video and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you also smash that uh, notification bell so that you will be the first one you know to get uh, the video when i download uh, uh, a new video most of the time and thank you very much everybody and uh, today also i'm still on the topic of uh, life uh, as a ti more especially in namibia um you'll find that he, these people you know they they, they use a lot of uh, things you know in order to divert or in order to they hide themselves you know from the law which means what they do is that they, they like using manipulating which means that they manipulate people into uh, putting a picture in people's mind that he, what they are doing is right uh, in the law of law why it's very 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 wrong you know so mostly you find that he, you know they manipulate people into thinking that he, you know the, what they are doing the crime that they are committing they are committing is just right like for for instance you know they can portray can portray you as a criminal or something that is not part in the society or they can alert the people that maybe you are danger or maybe you have got a problem and you, you know whatever sometimes they can even you know tell the people that you are a pedophile or maybe you are a rapist or maybe you, or, you know, most of the stuff that you know that has nothing to do with you so in order for them just you know to uh, run away from being pointed as wrong people or to run away from that they are committing a crime against you so in fact even when it comes that you you you, you are danger or you have committed something this people they have no right you know, to monitor you and harass you electronically harass you like the way they are doing in my case like exposing you you know and stuff and you know they don't have the right to do that but you know they give themselves this right because as far as i'm concerned you know in namibia we have got a court of law that if you do something or if you commit a crime then you, you know you'll be taken into court you know you'll be arrested and then there will be a time for you to be sentenced that if you are found guilty then you'll be jailed you know for the for the for, for the term that he fit the crime that you committed so that is how it's done but these things that they are doing to me is illegal it's not allowed and you know they are doing something wrong but on top of that you find that they want to manipulate people into thinking that they are doing something right and whatever they are doing is just right you know by lying to them that maybe you have a problem maybe you are a criminal maybe you know you you are not okay in the mind, whatever, you know, all those lies that they tell the people. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, sometimes it, you, you feel very humiliated that, you know, I'm 50 years of, of, uh, uh, old, you see, and I'm, 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 I'm grown up, you know, I'm even fit, I'm old enough to be a grandfather, you know, but you find that, he, you know these guys most of these guys are even younger than me far far much younger than me but when they are there you know they feel that they have the right you know to tell me what to do you know which i find very very funny you know you know they want to force you to do something as they wish you know which is in some other cases most of these people who come there 
and you know monitor me and expose me and exploit me most are younger than me so in fact they have no even right you know traditional they have no right to tell me what to do and even you know internationally that's not a norm you know to tell somebody who is grown up what to do in fact even somebody who is young you know you cannot force somebody you know to, to do something against their will you see people have to do something with their will their decision and you know you should respect their decision if they want to take that action but you find that these guys they come there you know they want to force you to do something against your will sometimes you find that uh they you know they they will look for something you know that suits you because these guys they mostly they use blames you understand so they use blames then they use that this blame if they find something that they can blame on you then they start you know blaming you they're using that whatever they found that is that's lacking on you like for instance i'm, I'm not married uh, i'm just single and the, also i don't even have a girlfriend or so ever. so you find that they go around and tell people that no uh, uh this guy is not married is what what and stuff like that so in fact wherever i go you know they will try to force me they want to force me to get into a relationship for god's sake what if i'm not ready eh? what if i'm not ready is that okay even them who forced them to be in a relationship i think they decided that because they are grown up nobody can force you not even your parents you know to do something that you don't like so in fact they don't respect that they just want to push as long as they are there they want to push you to do something you know mostly they want to you know to force you you know to do something whatever they feel just you know to, to uh, i think to make them feel happy even if you, you, you for instance if you get a woman or say who 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 is going to treat that woman nicely it's you it's not them so in fact it's up to you i think that that right should be that choice should be left to you to make a decision so it's not only that but there is a lot of stuff that you know that they do mostly you know to force they like to force issues mostly so whatever they think and they feel that it's right for them then they should do it in my case where in this world wherever you go where people are forced to do something against their will only in jail so in fact this thing is that's why they call it psychological torture because the way i, I see it it's more like the, uh, i'm I'm it's, it's it's jail that it, it's more like i'm institutionalized electronically or i'm jailed electronically because i don't have the right so they they have the right to on me they want me they want to force me to do something against my will so in fact the only place where they do that is only in jail so in fact this is also a jail so in fact it's it's, it's more like i'm instrumentalized electronically which means that i'm jailed electronically wherever they go so you know they, they they monitor me you know they regret whatever i do whatever i do they say something you know which is very very wrong you know i have got more issues you know to to, to talk about um then i think I'll, i'll stop there and thank you very much for watching and you know check you on in the next videos thank you very much